Klein Tools Outlet Tester Model RT250 will test outlets and GFCIs. The LCD screen will let you know the voltage and whether it's wired properly. The green light lets you know it's wired properly. If you see the red light, there's a problem with the wiring and on the LCD screen it'll let you know whether you have an open hot, an open neutral, an open ground, or whether the hot and ground are reversed or the hot and neutral are reversed. This tester uses two AAA batteries which is different than a standard outlet tester that doesn't use any batteries. When you turn it on you can see it says open hot because it's not detecting a hot wire. When I plug this in this outlet only has a hot wire connected and you can see that we're getting an error message. There's a fault and it's saying open ground and open neutral but it's showing that it does have a hot wire connected it's over 30 volts if I were to plug in a standard outlet tester and I had an open ground and an open neutral it's not showing anything even though I have a hot wire connected to this outlet now I have the outlet wired properly you can see we have the green light 123 volts and it says correct on the LCD screen. Now I disconnected the neutral wire we're getting a fault reading and it shows open neutral. I disconnected the ground and you can see we have the red light 123 volts and it shows open ground. I reversed the hot and the neutral wire we're getting the error light and it's showing that the hot and neutral are reversed. Another advantage of this style outlet tester is if you're plugging this into an outlet where the ground is up or you're against a wall and it's sideways or it's in a hard to reach area you can see that this is wired correctly 123 volts it will keep that reading for up to 10 seconds so you can remove it from an outlet and if it's hard to see it while it's in the outlet you're able to read the LCD screen once you remove it. It also tests GFCIs and the time required to trip it. You can see that this is wired correctly it's showing the volts I'm going to test the GFCI and you can see that it tripped the GFCI and it also shows us that it took 0.01 seconds for it to trip. 